This video explains how to search a minimum or maximum within a function curve using the optimize function in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example, and this example is based on the user-defined function that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new function object is appearing at the top right, which is called my function. And within this function, we are performing a calculation based on the input value x. So let's assume that we want to find a minimum or maximum value between a certain interval in this function. Then it makes sense to first draw our function curve to a plot. And we can do that using the plot function, as you can see in line six of the code. So within the plot function, I'm specifying the name of our function and I'm specifying the x-axis limits that I want to draw. So if you run line six of the code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that a new plot is appearing, which is showing the function curve of our function. And we can also see that at the x-axis position one point 1 or 1.2, we will probably find a minimum value of our function curve. So in order to get the result for this more systematically, we can use the optimize function, as you can see in lines 8 and 9. So within the optimize function, we need to specify the name of our function that we want to evaluate. So in this case, the function that we want to use is called my function. And then we also need to specify the interval in which we want to search a minimum or maximum value. So if you run lines eight and nine of the code, you can see that some output is returned to the bottom in the RStudio console. And as you can see, the first value is showing a minimum value. So at the x-axis position 1.277, a minimum has been located. And this also corresponds to the visualization that we have done before, because we already knew that at this point, a minimum is appearing. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.